What shall we do if some money is left with us at the end of the month? According to Hadith 2343 of Sunnah of Suna, Suna Al-Tirmidhi, we should give it in charity. And if we keep it, it will be if we keep it, it will be an evil for us. Mm -hmm. And there is one more hadith regarding this. For example, let's suppose your monthly income is six thousand six thousand pounds. According to the that this you can divide it into three parts. Two thousand, two thousand, two thousand. Spend this amount, maybe on your family, on your needs, whatever. Whatever your needs. Then invest this amount note it is not storing it is investing into a business or some other thing just invest it and in case investment needs some time then you can keep it until that time then remaining 2000 donate it but this one is the first recommendation. The answer that we studied in this hadith, it is the first recommendation that we just give whatever extra amount is left at the end, we should give it in charity. This is the first recommendation. But if you think it is too difficult for you or some people are weak, so they think that they can't donate this amount, then in that case, you can do this thing. But again, you cannot store it. Storing is discouraging Islam. And who is the best among the friends of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? According to Hadith 2347, the one who is in a condition And, and pray sorry and his uh, he has a quick death and few people mourn for him and his inheritance is little yeah. today we'll study from the book Sunan Nisai read this and this Ms. Hoor. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as salam. It was narrated that Ma Makil bin Yasir said the men came to the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and said, I have found a woman who is from a good family and of good status, but she, she does not bear children. Should I marry her? He told him not to. Then he came to him a second time and he told him not to marry her. Then he came to him a third time and he told him not to marry her. Then he said, marry the one who is fertile and loving for I will boost of your great numbers. So this is a problem very common today. So that if a man send a marriage proposal to a woman, she may accept the proposal, but she may say that she does not want children. 
this happened today. Maybe because of your job or some other thing, they say we can't have children. Or maybe one or two child after some years. So in this case, the man should not marry such a lady. If a lady does not want children, then man better not marry her. What? What if the husband doesn't want babies for now? Then the woman should not marry him. Oh. You can avoid the children only in case like a widow who already has children and she is having difficulty to find husband. In that case, she can just make a contract with someone that she will marry him and she will not have children. Otherwise, a normal person, a person who does not have any child, in that case, we cannot avoid children. What shall a man do if the woman accepts his proposal marriage proposal, marriage proposal with the condition of not having any child. I have personally seen this thing. A man thought a lady is very religious and in terms of religion he thought the red lady is very good. So he sent him a marriage proposal. He sent her a marriage proposal and she agrees, almost agreed to the proposal. But she said that I don't want any children or maybe maximum one child after a few years. Then the man, of course, did not marry that lady. So what shall a man do if the woman accepts his marriage proposal with the condition of not having any child? So in the answer, you will write, according to the Hadith 32.29 of Sunan and Nisai, he should not marry her, according to Hadith. 39.29 He should not marry her. Ms. Umiya Ahmad repeat the question and the answer. Umiya Ahmad Ms. Hoor. Do you hear me? Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam. Okay, repeat the question and the answer. What shall a man do if the woman accepts? of Sunan and Nisa'i. He should not marry her. Okay. Now read this one. Assalamu alaikum. Now read this one. Ms. Hoor. It was narrated from Umar bin Shweb from his father, from his grandfather that 
مرتد بن ابي مرت یہ کیا لکھا ہوا ہے نیم مرتد الغنامی مرسد الغنامی غنامی مرسد الغنامی a strong man who used uh, to take the prisoners from Mecca to Al, Al Madina said I arranged with a man to bring him from Mecca to Al Madina there was a prostitute in Mecca who was called Anak and she was his friend she came out and saw my shadow on the wall and said who is this Marsad welcome oh Marsad come tonight and stay at our place I said oh Anak the messenger of Allah the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has forbidden adultery she said oh people of the tents this for scoping is the is the one who is taking your prisoners from Mecca to Al Madina. I headed toward the mountain of Al Kandama, and eight men came after me. They came and stood over my head, and they arenated and there. You read, read me, but Allah caused them not to see me. Then I went to my companion, the prisoner, and brought him to Al Iraq, where I undid his fetters. Then I came to the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and said, O Messenger of Allah, shall I marry Anna? He remained silent and did not answer me. Then the following was revealed and the adulteress for Nicator non marries her except an adulterer for Nicator or an Ad Adelaide Adol Adelaide He called me and recited them to me and said don't okay. marry her. So this is also a common thing. We often see a Muslim man um, fell in love with the lady who is either prostitute and we also see often our children fell in love with the woman who is adulterous. So no need to write, I think, this question. You are both are ladies. So basically, um, we cannot marry such a lady. A lady who is a prostitute or a lady who is who commits adultery. We should not marry such a lady, according to this uh, Quranic ayah. This is a Quranic ayah. Wazaniyatulla yan kiwa. Any lady who azania mean adulteress, a lady who commits adultery. Nobody marries her except the one who is adulterer or the one who is idolater. So Muslim men should not marry such a lady if he knows her well. Ms. Umiya Ahmad, read the next one. It was narrated from, from Ibn Abbas that a man came to the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and said, I have a wife who is one of the most beloved of the people to me, but she, she does not object if anyone touches her. He said, divorce her. He said, I cannot do without her. He said, then stay with her as much as you need to. Sahih. So basically, definitely no man except that any other man sleeps with his wife. 
and in that case prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam asked him to divorce her but when he said that she cannot live without her then the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said do whatever you want enjoy her but basically a normal man according to this hadith should divorce such a lady what shall a man do if the character of his wife is not good basically she does not mind committing adultery what shall a man do if character of his wife is not good according to on these three two three one of sunan nisai he should divorce her and we see today when the such things are taken into the court court tries to reconciliate between the couples especially when they have children but islamically he should divorce such lady according to the hadith 3231 of sunan nisai he should divorce her miss who repeat the question the answer Okay, what shall a man do if the character of his wife is not good? Hadith thirty two thirty one, Sunan An Nisai. He should uh, divorce her. Now read this one. It was narrated from Abu Huraira that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, "Women are married for for four things." their wealth their nobility their beauty and their religious commitment to the one who is religiously committed may your hands be rubbed with dust if you remember few days back i explained you why prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said may your hands be soiled may your hands be rubbed with dust do you remember the explanation for this yes or no yes okay tell me why prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that may your hands be soiled to a man who chooses a religious woman as his wife you say like in a farm when you want to plant a, a like to harvest you have to make your hands dirty you have to you have to dig and dig but when the harvest becomes successful you just uh, get like oh, i don't know how to say it so before like harvesting you your hands have to get dirty but after harvesting then you'll see the fruit of your harvest yeah. so that's when the prophet say about the hands getting dirty yeah so initially we don't like when we work in the field it is hot blazing sun our hands get dirty our claws get dirty but after some time when we harvest the fruit or crops we become happy so same thing everyone wants a beautiful wife but when he chooses a religious one over a beautiful one initially he does not enjoy her very much but after some time when he has good children good discipline in the house the wife listens to him he becomes happy so basically a same pattern happens in both field and in the house that's why prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam used that dua 
there are four ladies first one is beautiful second one is rich and third one is religious which of these three man oh, what will be fourth one the fourth one okay. will be the 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 tribe maybe or the okay i will write which of these things shall a man send marriage proposal the fourth one was very common in old times nowadays people don't know it very much it is about noble lineage especially it happened in tribes so I will not write the fourth one because it was very common in the old times. Now it is not very common. It was about noble lineage. They used to marry someone who is has the same bloodline which he has. So it was chosen on the basis of bloodline. But that does not happen these days quite often. So I will not write that. Okay, there are three ladies. First one is very beautiful. Second one is rich. And third one is religious. Which of these three shall a man send marriage proposal? So according to the Hadith 3232, he should send them. He should choose the religious lady. He should choose a religious lady repeat the question and the answer there are four ladies first one is beautiful second one is rich and third one is religious which of these three shall are men send marriage proposal are these three two three two he should choose the religious lady. Now, another practical question for you. Usually, religious ladies are older. In my experience, at young age, very few are religious. Let's suppose your son is 18 years old. Your son. And he meets a lady who is 39 years old and she is very religious will you allow your son to marry this old lady yes yes so we cannot stop him because he is doing the right thing even at the time of prophet sallallahu this was very common thing young boys used to marry older ladies who were much mature and religious. Now read this. It was narrated that Abu Huraira said, it was said to the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, which woman is the best, he said. The one makes him happy when he looks at her, obeys him when he, when he commands her, and she does not go against his wishes with regard to herself nor her will. So this hadith is for women. How can you become the best wife? So the first thing is not very much in your control. It is a natural thing. You can do only one thing that stay neat and clean. Maybe use some makeup in front of him at your home. In this way, you, if you look good in front of him, then you can make him very happy. Normally women, when they go out, they use makeup. When they are in home, they don't use anything. You should use something. Because when a man go out, every woman he sees is using a lot of makeup 
or cosmetic products they are using best cloth but when sam man returns home he see his woman in the most dirtiest clothes without any she does not take care of her much at the home especially when she has children so definitely he will not like her very much so woman should take good care of her when when her husband returns home did you understand yes or no yes so make make yourself look good especially mm -hmm. when he you know that he's uh, will return at that specific time after work otherwise he will definitely like the other women who are out second thing how can you become a good wife by obeying him whatever he say even if you don't like it even if you don't agree with his decision just obey him it will be good in for you in the long run for obeying let me tell you one psychological thing about men this is not islamic thing this is psychological thing so you can disagree with it psychology maybe my spelling are wrong but no problem yeah is p s y psi yeah. yes so it is wrong you can correct it but you understand the word okay yes see The nature of women is this that the man should treat them equally. And most importantly, give them respect. This is the nature of women. Every woman, even if she does not know it. But the nature of men is to rule command in other word he wants his wife as his slave in all time there were slaves whenever uh, their owner gave them or their and uh, them any order she used to accept every order whether she like it or whether she does not like it this was very common in old times and this is the nature of a man he wants his wife to be her slave his slave just like a slave listen to everything he says same thing he wants from his wife but the woman wants equality and respect equality means when ever they need to make a decision sometime the man will listen to the decision of the woman and sometime woman will listen to the decision of man but the nature of the man he wants her to be his slave just listen whatever he says now if woman try to do this thing which looks good in practical world in literature it looks good but if women try to do this thing she is basically going against the nature of his husband when she will go against the nature of his husband it is a nature of every person when anything happen against his nature they book become more irritated and irritated when they become irritated you will see them they often get angry and they try to enforce this thing automatically even if he does not know this thing his behavior will automatically get like this and he will try to enforce himself about the woman this is his nature and also definitely in this situation he will like his wife little not much 
that's why you see these days it is very common with the passage of time the love of man for his wife decreases with the time this is the main reason why it, it happens but there is another thing in the man nature which can a woman utilize is good woman can utilize it easily that if initially she goes against her nature she does not demand this thing maybe for few next maybe you can say three years in my experience with the people if just for three reasons she does not do this thing and she becomes a slave of his husband and when the man in in unintentionally see that his wife is listening to everything he says and when she will have children with her it is a nature it is his nature she will he will start treating her like his queen so initially if a woman bear patience this is also in the nature of men that when they will have a children with such a lady they will give they will treat her like a queen in old time this was very common thing that men bought a lady as their slave and slave was just like every slave she was listening to everything they used to command them and when they had children with them often they made these women the queens of many large states in the world so this is also the nature so you both are women you also have this thing if you demand this thing which is your nature from the initial period you will make your husband more irritated and angry with time but if initial period you just consider yourself as his slave then you will see that automatically when you will have children with him he will start treating you like his queen so this is the nature of the men whether we like it or whether we don't like it it exists in almost every man agar koi woman parde wali ho uska husband kahe ke parda na karo to wo bhi manengi ya phir nahi usme to yahi hai na ki jo hukm aaj sabse pehle hota hai allah ka ab har shay bhi aapke walid bhi aapko aise cheez kahe जो आप समझेंगे इस्लाम के खिलाफ है तो उसमें आप अपने वालिद की भी नहीं सुनेंगे जाहिर सी बात है फिर शोर की भी नहीं सुनेंगे जो मेन चीज हम देखते हैं पहले उसमें अल्लाह का क्या हुक्म है अल्लाह के हुक्म के बाद फिर ये शोर आता है और वालिद आता है यू कैन राइट दिस क्वेश्चन how can you become the best wife in the answer you will write according to on these 3233 making him happy in making him happy and i explained you how can you make him happy by looking good in front of him because every woman that he will see out of the home will be well dressed will be in a look beautiful because of the makeup or maybe some natural beauty as well so when he returns home he should see you in the best dressed and best possible way or so make him happy by this this is the first point second thing obey him i also explain you the meaning of obeying that consider yourself as his slave for 3 years 
then after three years you will see inshallah that he will automatically start treating you like his queen he will take your opinion before doing everything in fact he will do most of the thing according to whatever you will see you just need to make sure that you consider yourself his slave for three years then the rest of the wife the rest of the life which may be 30 years or 40 years whatever it is it will be good for you inshallah then the next thing is don't go against his wish so if you know that Sahid does not like anything just don't do it and the last thing hard self null her wealth don't never consider anything yours when you are his wife even if he use it don't try to stop him. It will be good for you in the long run. Inshallah. So if you have some your own money, jewelry, don't say to him, this is my, say him, it is our. He can use it whenever he want. Anybody, any question? Yeah, can you repeat the fourth one about regard of the wealth? Uh, never say to him, this is my money, this is my jewelry, this is my wealth. Say him, this is our wealth, our jewelry. You can use it whenever you want without asking me. Say this to him, it will be good for you in the long run as well, inshallah. 